Hello, welcome back to Freely Being Me. And today I am talking about my Ariel, my limited edition Ariel. Um, she arrived yet was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? I don't remember. But anywho, um when I first saw her, let me just speak about this. When I first saw her online, I was actually kind of disappointed because um she seemed to not have like too much of you know a difference from the other aerials other than her size um i didn't realize how big she would be um uh so but still uh, i just felt like they could have done better with her um something more special with her her you know her fins her top and her hair um but I don't know, maybe they'll have more in the future. Um, but I definitely wanted to get this doll because I didn't want the pirates, um, you know, the people that will buy these dolls off, you know, off from Disney, Disney, and then they'll um, go ahead and just, you know, it's being sold for $150, but then they'll charge like $500 or $600, whatever, astronomical price. So that's why I went ahead and got this doll. But um, when I first pulled it out of the shipping box, I was kind of upset when I saw her stomach. You see that blue, greenish, turquoise uh, paint on her stomach? I thought that was a um, some kind of um, quality control issue. Um, but apparently everyone's Ariel has the same paint on her stomach. I thought that was kind of a weird design on, <laughs> on the doll, but um, but nonetheless, um, she's beautiful. So let's just get into it. So here's the beautiful box. I love the handle on this beautiful sturdy box. Um, and they usually have these special boxes on their limited edition um, dolls. Um, so um, I, anyway, I, I just love it. I just love um, that it's designed in a way where it's for someone who's a collector, even though it says for age six and up, um, it's still for someone who's, you know, looking to collect the doll and um, you know, take care, good care of it. Hopefully the children will as well, but you know how children are, some of them. Um, but anywho, so um, I like, the little bow in the back and the um, shimmery iridescent uh, paper that the box is made from. It just speaks under the water. It's just simply gorgeous. And then here's the beautiful purple ribbon. Um, it's beautiful. So I'm just going to turn her around because this is for those who've never had it. This is actually my first I've, I've had um, limited edition dolls before, um, but this is my first one that is an 18, I think this is 18 inch. I will check, I'll, I'll um, verify that. But anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna lie her down onto her back, her box, and she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she truly is beautiful. Um, she looks all, not uh, exactly like Holly. You know, Holly, she has such a beautiful, sweet face, very feminine, um, but she looks very close to Holly. Almost, yeah, very, very close. I would say more than the other dolls. So let me just try to put this down. Okay. All right, I have to get another angle. So here is the box. The, this is the frame of the window. Let's see. Yeah, so this is the frame of the window. I pulled it out. Um, it has the handle. I'm just impressed with the design of this box. It's beautiful. Um, and then let me lift this up so you can see. So here is the actual window. Um, of course, it's made from plastic. It's not made from glass, <laughs> you know, but um, so anywho, I don't know why I said that, but as you can see, Ariel is engraved on her. 
with it. The uh, flowers and the shells, I mean the bubbles and the she seashells and the seaweed. Um, yeah, so it's really beautiful. Okay, so now I'm just going to lift it off. This is another piece that you just pull off. So here is the window. If you could see that, I don't want to damage my window. But and on top, as you can see, that was what's being shown through the frame. See this frame right here? Okay. She looks gorgeous. She's so beautiful. Um, again, I wish they could have done more with her costume, but I feel like um, I guess this is um, if this is their not their only doll. I just want to touch her mole. Oh my gosh, her mole is raised, you guys. It's a raised mole. It's not just paint. It's a little um, um, detail. All right, so yeah, her mole, I don't know if you can tell, you can kind of see it. It's um, raised, so it's just not paint. So let's just look at her. I mean, she is, she's beautiful. Like I said, she looks a lot like Holly. Um, I, and her eyelashes, they are actual false eyelashes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Um, I have done art um, paintings with false eyelashes, so I can really appreciate that. Um, here's one of these hotel lotions, and this is the size of her face. So from the top of her head to basically beneath her armpits, that's a pretty sizable doll. Okay, and I love the detail right here, the little carving, the sculpting of that. Um, they did do a good job with that. I don't know what you call that area where the two clavicles meet. Um, and it's that dent right there that most people have. <clears throat> and even if it's not visible for you, you still probably have it. It's just not visible um, at the surface of your body. So anywho, um, I like her little little um, bustier, her little top. I love the little trimming that they added with the sheer. And then there's this shimmery material. I like that. Um, then here's the weird thing with the stomach. I don't really get it. Um, I actually spoke with some other people who, who got the doll. <clears throat> and they said that their doll has it. So I was like, okay, because I, I hope when I opened the box, I was really pissed. I was like, oh, okay, they miss, they painted my doll's stomach. Um, like, you know, I got another item and I had to return it because um, there was a misprint on it. And so I was like, now I hope I can get this doll again if, if you know, if I have to reorder it. But thank God I don't. Um, so this, I don't really understand the paint on the stomach. Um, but yeah, I don't get it. Uh, maybe some kind of thing with body paint. I don't know. But anywho, so going down, I love the sequence on her fins. It really does give the scale look, the, you know, the, the look of actual scales. And I love sequence anyway. Um, these aren't done in a very detailed way where you see that the sh it's layered like a shingles on a roof where you have one that's a top layer and then you have the under, under layer and it just keeps on going 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 and just creating kind of like a um 
a you know a layering effect they're kind of like you know how like when you knock over dominoes you stack up the dominoes like line them up in front of each other in, in a straight line in, into a queue and if you knock one over they um that first one knocks over the the next one and so forth and so forth and that kind of layering effect um so that was kind of you know a little cheap you know um they they went a little cheap on that part but nonetheless, at least they put some sequence on there. They did it in a very cheap way, where it's just one layer instead of it being layered um, in a more sophisticated way where it'll give more of a, um, more of a uh, luxurious look. Um, and so here's her fin. Um, I have some ideas that I could have done with the fin. Um, yeah, this is where it kind of falls flat for me with, with the fin. It, it's a nice looking fin, but they, uh, again, they could have done better. Um, like people say $150, because like, like I said, when um, I was informed that they had released the doll and I went online and I looked and I was like, this is it. <laughs> so I was actually kind of disappointed. Oh, and here's the, um, another trimming i don't know um what kind of material this is it's similar to this material um that's a nice detail um and then you have her bag which is a quite a nice bag uh, you know it really sh is it looks like ariel's bag that her little treasure hunting bag um and there you see the Telescope. I'm sorry. The dingle hopper. And what's that? I don't know. Some. Oh, a key. It looks like a ring. Um. But yeah, that's cute. Um. I like that. So let me see. I guess I could take her out. I'm always so nervous about taking my dolls out. I don't really take them out that much. Oh, there's only certain ones I take out. Um, so I just want to want them to still look like the way they were packed. So just give me one minute. Okay. Let's okay, so this box it had a lot of moving parts. Um, it's like I said, a beautiful, beautifully designed box. So let's just take this out. So that's the back of the frame. Wait, hold on guys, I don't want to knock my doll over. Ugh. Okay, so this is the back of the box. Um, and here's the certificate. I guess I can open up the certificate. Can you show it? Is it more than one page? It's just one thick card. Looks like it's one thick card. Okay, so this is the um, certificate of, of authenticity of an Ariel collector doll. And so this was released in 2023, obviously. And um, my doll, she's 847 of 5,200 dolls. So, yeah, that's my girl. So, one of five, one of 5,200, and she's the 847th doll. I wonder who got the number one doll. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so here's the back of that frame. I'm just going to turn this around just to add a little interest. The Little Mermaid. Okay, so this is the backing of her, I don't know, the board that she's on. Um, it's taped. Um, as you can see, she's there. They have thread to hold her hair up. Um, and wow, this hair, it looks more like the dreads. Um, it almost looks kind of foamy to me, but I know that it's just some textured um, synthetic hair that is, um, uh, yeah, it has more texture in it. It's a different color. So here's a, like a little, I don't know, what do you want to call it? A little platform or some kind of cushion to keep her station and in her position as um, she is packed in this box. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna 
undo this and it's packed in a friendly way so that I can undo it and then redo it again. So I'll be right back. I just want to show this just in case you want to take your doll out as well and not compromise the box. So you see these little straps right here? I don't know if you can see them. They're quite clear. Um, these clear plastic straps. This one is being pinned. The end of this strap is being pinned to the back of this frame. And it's the one that's beneath the large, um, the large flap. So this is the one that's actually holding the doll as well as this one um so and these strings i mean these twist ties they're um the ones that are holding the doll as well this one on the bottom and this one up top so these are the ones that only ones that i'm going to remove the rest of it i'm not going to remove just to you know let you know you know what i just realized i don't all i have to do is just remove the rubber bands on her hand on her hands and that's what will free her hands. And of course, the twist ties, the one at the waist and the one at her, the bottom of her fin, um, her tail. So this and this, and just the rubber bands on the hands. Okay, I'm so happy I noticed that. <laughs> I'm gonna undo this side, hope you guys can see. It looks like you can see, right? See that other hand? Take this out. All right. Turn it around. Oh, I already loosened it. Let's see if oh. I finally got her out of the box. That took a long time with all the the ties and the rubber bands and the thread. Um, yeah, so that took a bit. <laughs> um, so here she is. Um, she's beautiful. Here's the back of her. Here's the continuation of her tail in the back with the um, fins. As you can see, this is a true mermaid skirt. <laughs> um, people who are obsessed with um, that kind of look, they would just die to have a skirt look like this, I'm sure of it. Um, it's beautiful. Um, let's look at it. So, unfortunately when I was um, trying to get those, these little tabs off, these right here, they, um, uh, well, the person who ever put it, put the tabs in, they put punctured a hole in the tail. Um, so, you know, quite naturally with this delicate material, it's going to happen. So, but anywho, moving on, um, just in case you see any holes, that's why. So here's the tail. It's kind of like a little tie-dye. Um, it's like purple right here. Then it gradually turns into this blue-green turquoise I don't know if this is truly turquoise um, color. Um, there are, let's see how many layers here. Whoops, I just sat on the knife. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, okay, so, oh, this is, here's a, this, the tab again, the little, these little tabs that they put in there. Um, so this is one, two, three, four layers. And really, this is probably, sorry guys, I'm hungry. Um, really, this is, I'm, I'm fasting, that's why I'm hungry, just to let you know. So, you know, um, but anywho, um, but yeah, these are, looks like it's one piece that's sewn, if you can see around her, her around the bottom of the skirt, if you will. Um, so it's really just one, two pieces, but they're sewn around. Um, it's pretty. I wonder if you can see her. You see the pain that the woman has to go through to look beautiful? They turn her foot around so that I'm assuming it can fit into the skirt. That's, that was very interesting. Then here's this odd paint, just. I don't get it, but 
There's her paint. And yes, she has underwear on for those people who are sensitive and never seen a naked body. Um, there's her underwear. Um, yeah, interesting. I don't really get the paint, but okay. And so this is her legs, which they have all these different points, bending points where you can move the foot, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can bend her, her knees. So this is for people who are serious about their, um, their doll posing for the true collectors. Let's see. Um, oh no, you can't move it. And you can't move that top half. It just looks like there's two pieces um, for the way they made it. And here's her. She can move her wrist and bend at the elbow and move around her shoulder, shoulder blade. I mean, her shoulder. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess where they poured in this material. So I, I understand the, the making of it. So I'm not gonna fault them for that. Yeah. And of course, there's the stamp that says Disney and made in China. And I notice how, um, the rubber band that was around her her shoulder her yeah, her shoulder her bicep um it left an impression right there it's very interesting you must not have cooled off long enough for them to i don't know pack it i don't know um as you know everything that the you know these mass pro product companies they move as quickly as possible so it looks like someone may have I don't know why it left such a big impression on her arm, her bicep, the rubber band. Okay, let's take a look at the stuff that she has in her bag. This is pretty. So there's actually multiple pieces in here. I don't want to take it apart because, um, I'm not going to be playing with this, um, but here's a little item with some beads on it. This little, let's see if I can focus it. There we go. This item with the beads on it, this little string, there's a bead on this end, which kind of looks like a brass bead it makes a brass bead here's another bead that looks like it's made from some kind of metal we're just pretending we know this is all plastic um and then here's this bead that looks like a little crystal and this is a piece of gold and then here's her telescope can you really see through it you guys tell me can you see through it no it's just black black paint and then here's some tabs I don't know what exactly is that it's supposed to be it doesn't look like a compass to me I don't know some little tabs and then here's the dingle hopper and then the key and a ring look at all these booties that Ariel found get a girl 
she's winning. And look at her bag. She made it from sponge. Come on, give the sister credit. <laughs> mm. Um. Yes, yeah, so I just took this doll out of the box. I'm like, you know, what is the point of having something when you can't really enjoy it? Um, so took her out. This is what she looks like. Um, and then here's her skirt. Uh, it's, it's all that thread. I think that thread was to hold the, her hair. Um, I can actually remove that. Yeah, for the ones who truly do want this doll, get it before the pirates do, because those pirates, I mean, they're notorious for buying something and then sitting on it and then charging a kidney for something that was only a toenail. <laughs> That cost you a toenail or a pint of blood. <laughs> I, I'm very careful with my body, so I I just couldn't. But anywho, moving on. <laughs> and look how it gradually, the tail, the color to it. Here's the pink, which is quite lovely. It's like a rose pink. And then you have the green as it goes closer up to the top of the dress, where the waist of the dress is at, the skirt, should I say. Um, yeah, it's nice. And again, it's, it's secured by Velcro. And this is her fin, the bottom of the fin, as I showed earlier. Let's see, yeah, you can't um, separate it. Like her toes, um, doesn't look like her toes stick out. So it's just like one little pouch. There's no opening at the bottom, as you can see. It's beautiful. <clears throat> All right. So, oh, and look at her eyelashes. Take a closer look, as you can see. Get it, girl. And I just. I love her um, her makeup. She looks beautiful, beautiful doll, very gorgeous. And her hair, let me show you the back of it. Is that good? Yeah. So that is it. I just want to show you what she looks like. Um, I sacrificed my doll. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just sacrificed the packing um, so that so you can get a closer look at her. Because, um, you know, just it's, it's interesting. Um, oh, and then there's that strap that's holding her, her top. I'm not going to take her top off. Um, and there goes that tab again. But yeah, so it's interesting um, to see, like, I mean, I, I didn't even show you all the unpacking I did with all that, like I said, the rubber bands, the tabs, the ties, the twist ties, it was just like a lot to undo. Um, so here again is the box, the, the main compart part of the box, the back of it. Um, here is the front frame right there. And that's the certificate. Try not to damage my box. Um, and then here's her bag with her little items. Oh, here's a feather. You see that feather right there? It's just so many little things that she collected. Get it, girl, Ariel. Ariel, she's enjoying herself, honey. Okay, so there's the feather. So yeah, cool. Oh, and um, here is, let me move her out, to, out the way, out the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, take it easy. Okay, so 
here is the stand that she was standing on. So here is the stand that she was standing on right here. Um, it's a plastic base with a little metal rod that goes, here's the plastic base. Um, I'm not gonna remove this because this is um, twist tied onto the, the base of this um, uh, backing of the box. Um, so, and then here is the hook that her waist hangs on. And just look at the back of this, um, the image of this um, backing, this, I guess you can say almost portrait. Um, it looks like the rainbow that Prince Eric and Ariel, Ariel's wedding boat goes underneath. But it just looks really beautiful. Um, just gorgeous you see the bubbles and everything i can just go on and on um but thanks for watching um please like comment subscribe and tell me if you got this box and are you I me mean this doll and are you going to take it out of the box again if you're going to get it get her because um and I actually if you can do paypal pay later which is um, you can break it up into four payments. Uh, the first payment will be due today, and then the next payment, the, the the following three payments will be done due um, two weeks after each other. So, um, if you want to do that, so you can avoid paying an astronomical price, um, do that. Do it. Do it. Do it. Sign up for PayPal. Um, and um, pay it that way if you can't afford it. Because those pirates, I tell you, they, they actually, some of them actually buy the doll and then they'll break it up and sell the pieces. Um, and I just think that's just so disrespectful and wrong because someone designed the doll. A lot of money and effort was put into making the doll and they just break it up and try to sell the pieces. Uh, and another thing is someone who actually wanted the doll whole, this idiot took advantage of it and sold, you know, destroyed the doll with that a person who wanted a whole doll could have had it. So please, if you want to get the doll, purchase it before um, the pirates get to it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to share. Um, thanks for watching again. Like, comment, subscribe. I know I said it already. All right. Bye and share. Bye.